If you want to know how you can create a digital vision board in good notes, just keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia, the friendly creator behind Akai Hana Art. And for this community, I create videos and products to help you start creating with your iPad either if it's illustration, design, or digital planning. So, if you like this kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything, and like the video if you want to watch more videos related to this one. Oh, sorry if the lights is changing. Um, I'm currently in Finland, and I'm trying to record as much as possible before the sun goes down, and also that's why I have so much um, vapor going out of my mouth because uh, it's too cold so yes bear with me with that situation <laughs> so as every year I create a vision board this one couldn't be any different but in this uh, video I'm going to be creating the vision board that uh, comes with my actual digital planner. I will let you know the process that I follow to create my vision board that with the years passing have changed a little bit. So first of all, I uh, try to create my vision board where I have the mindset of creating uh, goals and uh, uh, when I have the mindset of creating something for myself, for the future. So I never uh, get to do my, my vision board where I am in the bad mood or something like that. Uh, if you want to get in the mindset, just uh, go watch uh, a nice movie or uh, put up some music that you like and you will get in a happy, uh, anything is possible kind of mood. So the thing I do before I start pasting pictures over on top of my vision board, the thing that I do is I create a list, a list of goals that I want to accomplish for the next year. So the goals have to be measurable, you know, like I want money, that's not a measurable goal. Wanting an X amount of money, it's measurable and don't get don't get too crazy or too uh, cautious in uh, when you are creating those goals you want to feel that you can accomplish them in a year uh amount of time uh, it could be less it could be more than a year but uh, don't get too crazy uh, creating your goals or don't get too cautious in, in order to uh, you feel motivated to to reach them. Also, you have to have in mind that your your tastes or your values or the things that you want to accomplish might change in that period of time. So make sure that you're creating goals that you can accomplish in a year and that fills your heart. So create this list and once you have it and you, once you are happy with it, uh, let's go and grab some images. Myself, I do use Google to uh, look for some pictures and also I use Pinterest. There is a great uh, way to gather pictures for your vision board. Make sure that those pictures uh, match your ideal, your body type, your hair type, or the things that you want to uh, get. Because if, for example, I want to get fit, I want to get a picture of a blonde woman that is all ripped up because I know I'm not going to get that type of body or that type of hair. So be cautious with, with the pictures that you get because those pictures are going to trigger, are going to be able to uh, make you in the mood for visualization. That is basically the end of the vision board. If you like to add uh, quotes to your uh, vision board, that's great. Make them short and easy to read uh, from a far point of view. So you are able to uh, reflect on those words, but also don't get caught on the fact that it's too, many te too much text and you have to read it very close. 
uh, when you once you have finished your vision board uh, the thing that I do because I do it digitally is that I like to place it in a uh, where I can see it that's what you would like to do with your own vision board once you finish it so uh, what I do is that I place it as a background on my iPad due to I work with my iPad every single day uh, for you if you don't if you don't work with your iPad the thing that you can do is that you can print it and once you have the layout spread that you like you can print it and put it on your wall with the visualization part it's very easy uh, try to find a picture that you like and uh, try to think and close your eyes and try to think what would be once you get that thing that you want how will you feel uh, how you will be dressed as who are you gonna be with things that will make you feel so happy and accomplished once you get the thing that you want so without further ado let's get to good notes and start creating our vision board
So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find it useful and motivational in order for you to create your own vision board. As I told you, the vision board that I'm creating, it's inside of my digital planner that I sell for Font Digital. And if you haven't get that product yet, I will leave the link in the description down below. The product is already available. And I also will leave the link to a video where I show you all the uh, nitty gritty of the planner. If you don't have this planner, you can create the vision board in any blank page either physical or digital in good notes. Finally, if you like videos like this and you want to watch more videos about it, please give it a thumbs up and spread the love by sharing to the people that you think might be interested in these type of topics. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!